This is my uh, lid motor reproduction of one of his uh, one of his ideas. At least I think it's his idea. It's uh, the automotive coil. I ran it in line um, from the charge battery on the negative side back into the circuit. Um, and so when I did that, uh, it made the coil uh, self oscillate. And so I don't know if you can hear it running. I built a uh, spark gap. Now what's different from this circuit to uh, what lid motor is doing is um, I don't have a capacitor and I am not running a diode. I mean it seems to be working really well. And what's weird is I think this is a, an, a 120 volt neon. I could be wrong and it's lighting really good. And so I tried uh, the spark gap, and then I have it going through uh, an air capacitor. And there's some neons, or I'm sorry, fluorescent bulb I've been working with. I was getting this corona effect. Turn the light off. I'll close the curtains. Oh, and I'm uh, actually running this off of my solar system. Actually blew a fuse in the control box. So I'm using a uh, modified... Uh, it's a modified computer supply. Um, works pretty good. It's got 9 volts uh, DC coming out and my choice of 11 or 5. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Here's the earth ground. I don't know if it'll short out. Yep. So the earth ground shorts it right out. But just to, to kick itself oscillating again, I just give the just give it just even a little turn just to just to tickle the coil. Um, there we go. Coil in line from the SSG, and it's actually charging both these batteries actually rather quickly um, from 11 volts. Um, I wonder if it's doing it quicker now that it's self-oscillating than just with the Bendini uh, spinning, which I think it is. Oh, I did, um, you know, if you guys do decide to modify an old uh, PC, uh, PC power supply, um, what you need to do is get a 12-volt automotive light bulb and put that where the motherboard would be. Um, that way it tricks the power supply into having a load because uh, you need that load in order for that uh, power supply to, to fire on, to kick on. And then once you got that going, you just use the, the original... PC on and off switch. There you go. Turn it back on. And 
I need to get my solo going again. Cool. Thanks for watching.